What's up, LinkedIn and YouTube? JG here. Now, um, this will probably be uh, the last uh, Full Time Diaries entry for the year. All right, so I'm gonna make it. So I'm gonna make it worthwhile. I just saw Gary Vaynerchuk's mega post, right? the, the five-hour-long one. All right, I, I'm I'm actually not done with it yet, but I saw this part where he said, <clears throat> where in effect, all right, something to this effect, he said, we should not sacrifice uh, context for efficiency. Kasi may nagtanong sa kanya na from the audience on which uh, Instagram scheduler to use. Like, uh, I heard Planoly, I heard Later, and I heard, and I heard other, other scheduling apps. That was his reply. <clears throat> it's, it is our tendency to, to, trade, to trade efficiency for context. Now, I wholeheartedly believe in this. Okay? That's why for me, I don't use Planoly or Later anymore. All right. If you want to get uh, more engagements, you have to put out content as you. All right. You don't have to schedule. Scheduling only works on YouTube right now. All right. <laughs> Scheduling only works on YouTube right now because uh, batch producing is uh, the more efficient way to go. Okay. But when it comes to the other social media platforms like Instagram, okay, here on LinkedIn, <clears throat> on Twitter, <clears throat> scheduling is, uh, well, uh, these days it's more fake, all right? It's very fakey in nature, okay? You have to put out the content as you at that moment and at the and at that time all right it's all you know, one piece of content can become three can become four can become five it all it will all depend on the platform you're sending that one to sending that version out to all right for example um every monday is twitter monday is uh, twitter monday for me so what i do i send out a tweet Right? I take a screenshot of that and I use that on my Instagram stories. And I sometimes post that same screenshot on LinkedIn. Right here. On LinkedIn. Alright? <clears throat> so yeah. He, he's right on that. Alright? Don't ever sacrifice context for efficiency. You can be you can be efficient actually without those schedulers. As long as as long as you're efficient in uh, in sending out in sending that content out to other platforms, that's basically it, right? For me, that's the way to go in 2020. All right, if you post on multiple platforms, make one piece of content, then make several versions of that for the for to serve the other platforms, right? That is a very good very good social media strategy for 2020 all right <laughs> so a few hours from now uh, firecrackers will be firecrackers are going to be all over the place right so I'll, i will be able to i will be able to come out here and uh, make another entry because the smoke the smoke the the pollution is already bad pollution is already bad for me okay so that's it his take on schedulers i wholeheartedly i wholeheartedly agree and you should not depend yourself on schedule on schedulers all the time right for me for me schedulers are only good for youtube or brand deals <laughs> or brand deals okay that's the only time schedulers are good but if you want to be uh, if you want to be more authentic well, don't rely on them. Post your content at that moment. At that moment, in, at that moment, at that place, at that time. Right? So, well, for me, Planoly and Later are dead. <laughs> They're dead for me now. Okay? So, 
catch you later. Catch you later, guys. And Happy New Year, LinkedIn. Oh, Happy New Year, YouTube, too. <laughs> I almost forgot. Let me repeat that. Happy New Year, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Catch you again later.